metaverse, which Mark Zuckerberg have opened up, it opened up a very scary realm uh, where virtual reality is going to now meet in real life. So there's going to be like an augmented reality. Virtual will coincide with the physical. So I've told you examples before that here in real life, we might see vir virtual stuff amongst us. When you wear, that, when you wear those uh, glasses, that's how it's designed, where you see the real life world around you, but combine with that virtual imagery with that. So then you'll be touching virtual objects while in real life. So this is going to be very scary stuff. And the great narrative, it's all about that. The great narrative is all about the great reset and the metaverse. The whole idea is basically this. If you recall what the Great Reset is, it's that our civilization, our, te our current technology, current lifestyle, needs to have a reset. And when we reset all of this, we're going to reset it to a way where it's going to be a much more advanced, better technology combined with humanity. Because there's no doubt technology is interacting with the human world. And the metaverse is evidence of that, that they're paving a way. That they're really going to push that. So because the metaverse is doing this, we have to understand that the Great Reset, this is something that they've always wanted to do. So then, their action, the World Economic Forum is basically ahead of the metaverse on this one. So because they're ahead of the metaverse in this one, they've discussed about the great narrative. And you might go, what is this great narrative now? So I've explained the great reset, the metaverse. The great narrative is this, is basically let us narrate how the world will play out. Well, that kind of sounds like the metaverse, right? Like you create your own life. You create your own universe. But this is going to be now real life. Real life, not just something virtual, but real life. So the great narrative is let us, humankind, real life, narrate our future on how we will become or what we will be. And obviously technology is going to play a huge part in this one. So I'm going to uh, play you a recording, which is going to be pretty, pretty scary. And as I uh, explained to you from this recording about the great narrative. Uh, this person explained the great narrative in a way which is very terrifying. So he took it from the World Economic Forum and from the World Economic Forum, Glenn Beck explained everything of what they explained the great narrative to be. And this is like beyond the metaverse you have to understand. All right, so I'm gonna play it off of my phone and hopefully people can hear it from here. We are so far ahead on the metaverse and you don't even know it. I, I want to tell you that on Wednesday, uh, the World Economic Forum held the great narrative. And they've been promoting this. And what I'm going to read to you is on their website. Now remember, the World Economic Forum just partnered with the Biden administration to bring these things back. They're to bring these things into America. We are now partnered with uh, 20 different companies, public-private pu partnership, and the World Economic Forum. This is Build Back Better. So the great narrative was the uh, conference that is happening this week uh, to design the future. Now, I want you to just listen. This is how they opened it. Design the future, the story for the future. In order to shape the future, you have to imagine the future, design the future, and then execute. Over the next two days, they will decide how we decide, how we execute the great narrative. But the great narrative is, what is tomorrow going to look like globally? The world has gone through a very difficult time. People are now looking for transformation. But the world needs a new blueprint, a new narrative. Why? Because 1% own more wealth than 7 billion. Almost half the population lives in under $6 a day because the last 60 years were the warmest on record.
We can't afford to waste more time on denial of climate change because our digital world will be as important as our physical world. By 2025, there will be five times more devices than people on this planet because both to inspire hope and action, government first and foremost are in the business of installing hope. Governments are instituted among men to, oh, protect these rights. I'm sorry. I thought it was um, install hope. Imagine what role the government should play to install this new narrative. A whole government approach is not enough. All of humanity approach is needed. Collectively, we are the author of this new chapter. The future belongs to those who can imagine it and implement it. How can we design the government to be future citizen ready? How to lead the world into sustainable and a better future? 